I'm playing it small, dude. Yeah, fuck it. Bro, it's such a good Kate game. I'm gonna try these runes. Play Fleet, Absorb Life. And see how aggro I can play in lane. Like, surely I won't ever be low on health. I don't, like, exhaust her. I would rather go Ignite and play Turbo Aggro lane. Or oh, Smurf account today. Because I wanna play Kate. I don't think Kate is good, so I don't wanna play it on main account. Plus, I'm testing my build. I'm unsure if, like, this build might be the new build that you play. Like, low-key, it feels decent. I wouldn't say it feels, like, broken, right? Obviously. Because then everybody will be playing it. But it feels pretty nice. But I need uh, more testing on it. Or you can't. Okay. Yeah, sure. Like, imagine we hug the wall up to Tribush instead. Maybe that's a kill. But it's so crazy. Why can't people in the Masters do that? Whenever I have a Lux with the Kate, so I, okay, they miss every bind, barely hit their ease. Now, some would argue it's because these guys are worse, so they get hit by the abilities. I would argue the players in this elo are just better mechanically. Guys, I might have been joking. Okay, maybe the players in this elo are not better mechanically. <laughs> I generally think some of the higher elo players get scared of making a mistake and then reserve themselves and play more combat. Maybe I'm stupid. No, I think it might be onto something. I think that's pretty real. Uh, but I, I don't think it's like the higher, higher elo. When you start getting into Grandmaster, I think more people play to their limits. When you start getting a bit higher up in Master, people start being aware of when they fuck up. So they want to like minimize their fuck ups, right? I feel like in low elo, it's just more bing bang boom, you won lane or lost it, versus high elo, it's more of a war of attrition. Yeah. I think in low elo, like you can mostly just out farm your opponent, so you can probably just win the game, but how fun is that? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, the cow! Fuck, man. Let's just pretend that flash never happened. Okay, not even close. What you all know about Fortnite competitive play? I've been mean, binging Game of Thrones the last couple of days. Bro, I do so much damage, what the fuck? Mom! Bro, I watched a video and I woke up that was like uh, League of Legends like most unbalanced season and we were talking about like season 5. Holy shit, bringing me back. I would like, I would love to be able to like go back in time, see League 10 years ago when I was playing it, try to understand it. Cause back then I was like, what? Eight years old, like borderline 10, 12. I would love to see it from my perspective of the game now. AD before I start one-shotting the waves. Ah, fuck. I was greeting it versus the Nocturne. I guess I should have just flashed it and killed him early. 
Katrina got a lot of gold from killing me. I don't know if she's based yet. She might have like a full item extra or not. Yeah, she bought Medjoys and uh, Arms Guard or whatever it's called. Uh, there are five people mid and they're really question mark thing. Here's something I'm always like contemplating like is it more worth getting paid over Cloak? I mean Cloak gives you what? Gives you damage on like most abilities. Well on headshots and your ult I think right? Q doesn't skill with it. The problem is Katarina is so fed now. Because she got my shutdown twice. So he's just fed to the point where now she's almost as strong as me. Because like five of my kills were on a Sona that was worth 100 gold. Yeah, unlucky. I think we lost the game. Nah, I'm not even exaggerating, like, I think we just lost the game. Katarina is fed to the point where it doesn't matter how strong I am now. I guess if we kill her two times in a row, she loses, like, 50% of her damage. I do this a lot. I get fed, and I get a bounty, and then I die, and then I start playing safe. I just... After I get the false and gold bounty, I have to just accept that I cannot try to play the game anymore. Belbeth is dying mid now, I think. Maybe I'm Exodia now that I have IE. Someone killed cats. I mean, I mean, I think Jones combo can probably one tap her. I can't do shit unless my headshot one shots her. Maybe two shots. Oh, flash too late. It's such a hard game to 1v9 as AD carry. When they have Nocturne Rengar, can't play the game. I would have to sit AFK and just wait for them to engage on someone, but I guess I will rapid fire last. Maybe I can try to get a shot out without dying. Holy shit, that Nocturne ult saved the Katarina so fucking hard. Holy. It's really like it's outside of your vision range if that shit happens. It's so cancer to play into Nocturne. It's super fine because you can like trap him if he tries to engage on you as long as you like know where he's coming from. But if he engages on someone else or he just presses like R in a team fight to like turn up the lights, then it gets kind of rough because you're not hitting anyone with net or trap. I mean, okay, you may hit your shit, but you're not gonna headshot them after. Is the ring there? Yeah, I'm dead. I guess I have uh, traps, but that's not reliable versus a cat because it's really hard to trap on her daggers. She has way too much leniency on moving around where she wants the dash. She has ramblings now as well. What stunned me? I guess it was so notes. I don't know, maybe I should have sold boots and went for Jomus, or I sell rapid fire and go for Jomus. Nice.
on the Nice. What's it called? The uh, set your movement speed fat stuff versus the ringer. Bro, I feel like I have to work so hard to just win these games, but I guess I kind of fucked up when I gave the shot on to Cat. Right, I can place him flat too. What the fuck? I have to grind for a decade to climb. 